Yo, the whole squad showed up. Yo, they really went full out in the show. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy, you done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon and I'm Kula, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Jupiter's Legacy, a new Netflix original series. I'm mad excited for this one. It's based on a graphic novel or a graphic series, if you like to say. Um, I'm mad excited. I saw Grace Randolph's interview with the showrunner slash creator or the graphic novel writer. I forgot what his position was, but the way he talked about it and how enthusiastic Grace was about the show made me mad excited and um, I'm about to dive right into it it's 8 episodes, probably watch 4 today, 4 tomorrow you know what I'm saying and I'll get them up daily on the channel please like, subscribe you know, try and upload daily let's not waste any more time, I'm mad excited from the stills and the trailer alone I was so, but people overhyping it also Boss Logic's poster Let's just dive right in. Jupiter's Legacy. Kids playing hero. Nice shot. That a superhero group called the Union? What is happening? Does this kid have powers? Damn. Damn. Who is this kid? Is the parent gonna show up? Hi, Dad. <laughs> what is there strict rules not to use your powers in front of civilians? Damn, he's mad. The suit is nice though. This dude is like the moral compass of the show. Damn, he has to ditch his kids now because the world needs him. Ooh, it's gonna have some ripple effects with the family dynamic. You were never there for us. You were always saving people. Ooh, the VFX are actually dope. Black Star looks like a problem. Homeboy is a hero. Let's see the suit. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Superman moment. They all can fly. Is it Black Star? It's the Gorilla Gang. <laughs> I'm just assuming that's their name. Who's this? Yo. Super villain. There goes the Gorilla Gang, dead. Oh. It's a gold transport. Damn. This show is fully realized. So, it's the modern century. Damn. He really getting his ass with handed to him? Damn. Show them. Show me got skills, man. Dad to the rescue. Damn, he made her flip with one hand. Damn. Ooh, opening sequence. Ooh, looks like a comic book. Even S. Knight, the showrunner from Dead Devil, is in charge of this? Oh, I'm so. Damn, he really is on some Superman ish. The whole farm and everything. Damn. When a superhero's gonna learn? Villains never stay down. They never stay locked up. It's probably gonna be a major conflict in this whole thing. Damn. They really old. You can tell by the hair. Why does he look older? Way older than she does. Damn. The daughter has drug problems? Damn, this dude is really charging his kids. Ooh, he heard everything. Who's this guy? Damn, he can read minds. Flashback. Damn. 1929. How old are these motherfuckers? Oh, that's why they aged them so much. Look at him. Such a nice guy. Did his brother also get powers? The aspect ratio and the cinematography changing with the flashback is amazing. It seems like I'm watching a new show within the show. Is that him? Whoa, they de-aged him. Dear friend. 
What's that sound? Is that Chloe? Damn, she looks so drugged up. Damn. Imagine if your dad was Superman. <laughs> the judgment. The legacy to live up to. It's trouble in paradise. Man, I knew having a super superhero dad would be a problem. <laughs> just things I've thought about in life, just randomly, you know what I'm saying? Is that the brother? Such a big theme for superhero shows and movies is the daddy issues. Is sibling conflict also? Yo, she feels sorry for you. God damn. Damn, she's spit, spitting facts though. Sibling talk to talk, you know what I'm saying? The sibling's about to have a manly talk. You about to fly to another country? Yo, it's Mr. Negative from the Spider-Man game. They celebrities? The VFX of this show are phenomenal, man. Look at this, the landscape, the city. It's so pretty. His dad is having a full-blown mental breakdown right now. Oh shit, he's gonna jump. He's gonna jump. Dude, they even gave us a double take of him jumping. Is this the Hall of Justice? Nice panning shot. Sky Fox became a villain? I said that so sarcastically, I don't know why. What did he do? He took the vice president? How is that doing the right thing? Yo, is this set in our world? They talking about mass shooters and stuff? And white supremacists? Who's George? I feel like his ideas will backfire on him. The world needs a new hero. One that's willing to take a life. Be judge, jury, and executioner. He's really thought about this. Like, yo, too much power in the wrong hands could lead to devastation. Yo, they speaking facts. You're the only one who still believes in this code. Probably your wife too, but it is what it is. Isn't that the dude that was working in the factory? Is it about to be a showdown? It's a full CG background. It's about to go down, isn't it? Who are these two? The fight's gonna come to them. His name is Paragon? Oh, he's got an ex. Do it. It's about to be your party. It's a party. It's a party. <laughs> Damn, this dude is a problem. He looks like Dark Side. I think that's intentional. Yo, they going full on super hero fight. He's got hit vision? What's her power? She's like Green Lantern or something? <laughs> Yo, the whole squad showed up. Yo, they really went full out in this show. This is a high level superhero fight. Yo, why do I have a feeling that some of them are gonna die? I mean like it's kind of obvious. The way they showed the fight, they're not winning right now. What's his power? He's an earthbender? Yo man, this show is so cool. Ooh, ooh. Oh shit, she gonna die, she gonna die, she gonna die. Damn. Got the Ed Bender too. Decapitation. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I think his dad is right. He is too emotional. He's gonna break the code. He's gonna kill this dude. Brandon's gonna kill this dude. Not the mother. Not the mother. Not the mother. Oh, thought the mother was about to die. Yo, they're getting their ass handed too. That the beach? Okay, Brainwave is the coolest one. Psychic painting. It's got bitch. Bitches at the bitches. It was such a stupid joke. He's such a problem though. What? He's getting choked in his mind? Yo, they losing this fight. Ooh. He's gonna stop in the air. Ah, oh, superhero moment. <laughs> what is he trying to do? Is he trying to just kill people? Oh, Brandon's gonna do... Oh, I knew it. Brandon's gonna Maybe. break the code. He's gonna break the code. Ooh, took his whole face off. He took a life. Damn, his whole face went into his what face. Really? He just saved your life though. Got times to argue? You lost people. Damn. Why are you still listening to him? You're a grown ass human being. The costumes are so cool. To save your life. He took a life to save your life. It's not that simple. What's the problem? Did all the villains escape? What? He's still alive? How? What the fuck? How is the two of them? The big mystery of the season. Double gang villains. Is there a post credit scene in the show? No, it is. So let's talk about it. The show is actually so phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. The dude, what, what's his name? Steven S. Knight? Dude, you, you know how to make superhero shows for Netflix. They should really keep you around. This show is complex. And it's not sparing 
any blow. This is a way to end up an early, yo. So far, brainwave seems more logical. And his powers set is more cooler. Brandon, I knew he was going to take a life. What's his sister name? I forgot his sister's name. Wrong time. Let me try INDB real quick. The cast. <laughs> I forgot the character's name. But this, so far the show's phenomenal. The mom, I'm not sure about her yet. You know what I'm saying? She seems like she understands why her son did what she did. He did, but also she's taking, you know, her husband's side in this. Man, so much happened in this episode. So basically, they they kind of immortal or they age slower because of their abilities. And uh, they have kids who just got the powers naturally and they keep bringing up this looming fact that they got their powers very horrifically. And apparently there's also a dude who betrayed them. Uh, Chloe. Chloe is the sister's name. Now I got it. Chloe. Lady Liberty. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, now I got their names. I'm going to keep this IMD page open while I continue watching it. I'm probably going to watch three more then watch the other three the next day because my laptop is really feeling it via the fans spinning overdrive right now anyway tell me what you guys think i'm really enjoying the show like if you like my reaction subscribe if you're not subscribing the big theory what do you think is happening do you think the guy who betrayed them is now making clones of these super villains to prove a point that you need to be judge jury and executioner to make it but I don't understand. His previous plan was to kidnap the vice president to do what? They need to elaborate. I think they are though. Anyway, subscribe, like if you like my reaction. Deuces.